Zit die camera? Waar is dan zit die camera? Waar is zit die camera? <laughs> All right, so in today's video, I'm breaking down how you easily can color grade S-Log3 footage in CapCut in two different ways. The first way of doing it is using Sony's own free conversion LUT that you can download on their webpage, but I will leave a link to it in the description below. Second way of doing it is using my free conversion LUT that I will also leave in the description below. And the reason why you want to use conversion LUTs is because the conversion LUTs does the heavy lifting in terms of bringing back contrast, saturation, and pretty much bring back everything you need in your image. Yeah, let's jump straight into this video. Let's go. Hmm? All right, so this is the clip that I'm working with today, and this is shot in Thailand on my Sony a7 IV S-Log3 Picture Profile 8 at default settings. So first thing you wanna do here is to convert your footage, AKA bring back saturation and contrast to make it look normal. And we gotta go up here, and then you go into the adjustments, and here you have add adjustments, and then you have this LUT tab where you can import all the LUTs that you want. And all these six LUTs that you see here are LUTs that you can download for free the two first are mines and these four are from sony's own website so you can download all of these lots i left a link to all of them in the description below and i will also leave this clip right here in the description below so you can grade along with me and practice your grade on this shot the first thing i want to do here is to show you how you can grade using sony's own uh, conversion LUTs. so i will slap this on my footage like so i will drag this on top and as you can see here uh, this is now basically back to normal and as you can see this is a little bit too cool i think my white balance was a little bit off but not so much that it's a problem i can fix that um, and that is what we are going to do right now so we drag a new adjustment layer on top of this footage like so and it's important that the adjustments are prior to the LUT. So the conversion LUT has to be the last adjustment layer here. So let's say if you drag many adjustment layers, just make sure that the adjustment layer where the conversion LUT is, is the last one here. Uh, unless you have to change the LUT or, you know, do it for specific reasons. Now I go in here and the first thing I want to do, like I said, is to fix the white balance. And in this case, it's slightly off. So I can just drag this temperature slider to the right and let's just leave it at that and we can always go back and change it more if we have to but now i see that i need contrast so i will drag this up to let's say yeah 11 is a good number and then i can go to the shadows and drag this a little bit down let's say to four um, and that is basically all that I needed to do on this clip. Of course, there's many things you could do to this clip to make it look even better. I could actually drag this a little bit further to the warmer side and boom, I think this looks amazing. Uh, if you wanted that, you know, lifted shadow look, you can, you know, drag up the, the blacks a little bit. Let's say you can put it at, oops, that's way too much, two or maybe even one. And boom, that looks good, but I will leave it at zero. Actually, I like that contrasty look, uh, but I can drag this a little bit further up. Let's say to 30, 31. Yes, I love this. What I also could do though, is to add a little bit of saturation in here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Let's say to, okay, let's say six. Add a little bit sharpening, just to wrap it up. Boom, yeah, this is looking amazing. So what you see here in the background is the clip only with uh, the conversion LUT that Sony provides. And what you see inside the square is basically what we did. So as you can see, it's it's a really, really big uh, change here um, in terms of colors and look. It's looking really, really good. So let's just remove the mask and show you the before and after. Before, after, before and after. First thing I wanna do here is just to copy the clip so we can, you know, grade this new clip. And now we can drag my S-Log conversion LUT on top of this footage. Boom, as you can see, colors are back. It's looking pretty good, but uh, we have to adjust a little bit and we come in here and we can drag a new adjustment layer. So we're doing exactly the same on this clip that we did on the clip before. 
uh, but here you can see we have to fix the white balance and the warmth of this image so that is the first thing we drag this up to let's say 20 let's say 30 you can always come back and drag it back um, and we want to drag up the exposure a little bit to let's say 11 okay uh, it's obvious that we need contrast here <laughs> so we drag a little bit of contrast in here uh, let's say 10 then we can lift the shadows a little bit to get more details inside of here and uh, we can leave it at let's say yeah 13 and then drag up the whites boom quite a bit let's say 12 so now it's looking way better uh, but we have to adjust a little bit more I think it's um, I think we can drag down the blacks a little bit not so much let's say to four yeah I think this is oops okay let's say six six is good boom yeah I think this is looking amazing what we could do is go up here again and drag a little bit more warmth in this image let's leave it at 32 32 is good then we can go in here add a little bit of um, sharpening uh, you don't always need sharpening but I think plus two here is a good number now let's see how that looks it's looking really good if we compare it to the first clip it's looking pretty similar to be honest but you can see the difference in the highlights um, here the highlights are in my own opinion it's it's looking better in this than in this uh, it's not a big big difference uh, but I prefer this look if I could choose and this is with my my LUD um, now there's many things you could do to this image um, but I think what we did and the amount of work we put in it's really really nice and this is also like before and after type just to show you like in in the back here uh, it's only my s log conversion light and inside of this square you can see how this image looks um with the grade that we applied now yeah we can go back oops um we can go back here and we can also drag the shadows a little bit further up let's say to 15. yes i think this is amazing i love it let me show you the before and after before, after, before, and after.